Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one is about the disjunctive normal form, or DNF for short. And we're going to take a look at two methods that we can use to rewrite a formula in propositional logic to DNF. Now remember, disjunctive normal form requires us to have a disjunction or conjunctions. So, we're only allowed to have ORs and ANDs, and they should also be arranged in a specific way. We have groups of atoms that are separated using conjunctions, ANDs, and these groups of conjunctions are separated using disjunctions, ORs. Now for our example today, we're going to take a look at this formula. As you can see, it contains some implications which we need to get rid of. We're going to do that using two different methods. The first is just applying some rewriting rules. The second is using K-maps, or if my pronunciation is correct here, Carnot maps, which you might be familiar with from the course Computer Organization. Now let's start with rewriting. As I mentioned earlier, what we need to do is we need to get rid of those implications. So first we get rid of the outermost implication. We see that this introduces a double negation. We can get rid of that. And there are some more implications to get rid of. Now I'm not going to discuss every one of these steps in detail, but I'm going to take a quick look at the final one. As you can see, we currently only have ORs and ANDs, disjunctions and conjunctions. The only problem is that they're not in the right place. And at this point, you can use the descriptive laws that you can find in the book to make sure that they are in the right place. We do that here, and we see that the leftmost item becomes a tautology, so we can get rid of it. And that leaves us only with the right item, which is not R, or Q, or P. And this is a formula in DNF. Even though there are no conjunctions, this formula is still in DNF. Now let's take a look at the alternative, and let's try to use a Carnot map to do the same thing. As you will learn, or perhaps have already learned in computer organization, a Carnot map can be used to find a minimal sum of products. But a sum of products is just a computer organization way of saying a formula in DNF. So if we fill out the truth table, well, let's see what happens. First. Notice that when p is 1, we have an implication of which the conclusion is always true. This means that the implication is always true. So the bottom row of our truth table is easy. For p is 0, the situation is a little bit more complicated. But I'm going to fill it out here, and I encourage you to pause the video and check that whether what I filled out is actually correct. Now that we have the completed k-map, all we need to do is find the groups of 1s. I'm not going to go into great detail here. Hopefully you'll learn this in your computer organization course. But we can see that the bottom row forms a group, which is the group for P, as P is constant and the other two variables change. We have a group with the four rightmost ones, which is the group for Q, because again, Q remains the same, but the other two variables change. And we have one group that is split, the two rightmost and the two leftmost ones. This is the group for not R, because again, not R remains constant, whereas P and Q change. And there you have it. Two methods to find the same result. And there you have it. Two methods to find you a formula in DNF. For the course reasoning and logic, you can use either one. We don't really mind. Just make sure that you're clear in what you do. Then it's all fine. And that's it for this one. See you around for the next one.